some issues with the uh, fittings, the strut fittings we've discovered on this top starboard wing. Uh, we'd expect to find the same things on the other wings. Uh, there seems to be an element of design here. The first thing is that the gap between the aileron and the aileron spar and the rear spar is about 16 mil. This is actually jigged up currently to 18 mil, so it's slightly large. But as you can see, there's uh, there's not enough space here for the aileron to uh, rotate over any significant angle. We think possibly, although it's not shown on the drawing, that the the solid part of the spar here was intended um, that you could make a cutout in the in the spar around that point in order to accommodate the additional movement but we haven't uh, there's no evidence of that on the drawings the other problem we've got is with the uh, the fittings down here and the way they assemble together or more accurately don't assemble together the the drawing shows the uh, these as three sixteenths bolts with a quarter um, sleeves over them. <clears throat> in this case we've got quarter bolts but uh, you can see that we've already got an interference fit between the bolt and this fitting here uh, although the fitting isn't fully home. I don't know if I can get that a bit clearer. There we are. There's about a 10 mil gap between the, the fitting and the uh, rear spar. We've done that to make the, the, the best possible um, fit. If you bring the, the fitting close home to the spar, uh, the fitting goes straight through the line of both of those holes there. Uh, we've The problem is worst on the, on the rear fitting where we've got a, a 5 8 bolt here which takes the uh, the drag link and because it's offset a bit further and a bit wider uh, the interference is, is rather worse and we really haven't come up with a satisfactory solution on that one yet. The other issue we've come across today is on the aileron pulley here where if we get that lined up and we get it perfectly lined up with the uh, with the aileron horn, uh, there's an interference fit uh, with the with the compression strut here. Uh, we'll have to relieve it a little bit or or do something there to, to get that to fit uh, exactly. On the front compression, sorry, on the front strut fitting, we have a similar problem with clearance here but we believe we, we have now got a clearance between the fitting for the internal bracing and the bolts uh, with about a 10 millimeter gap between it and the spar and we think that maybe we can we can fit a packing piece um, glued to the spar which may be satisfactory under those circumstances. The rest of the wing assembly has gone pretty well today. We've managed to get the leading edges shaped. We've managed to get the um, trailing edge fitted and uh, the little uh, uh, clips raised to it satisfactorily.